G'day everyone. We live in an amazing digital era and in this digital era there is an absolute boom in photography and today in this video I'm going to teach you the settings that I consider to be the best settings for using a GoPro when making fishing videos. Right here, folks, now the GoPro is an absolute underachiever in the hands of so many people. The reason for that is because it is jam packed full of functions, and yet so many people just put it into the default settings and away they go. Now, I want to tell you what I like to use in my videos. It doesn't mean you have to, but it might just give you a starting point, particularly for the people who are new to the world of GoPro, and it'll give you a starting point, and from there you can develop your skills and become more creative. Now, with my GoPro, I've got a GoPro Hero 7 right here and a GoPro Hero 5 right here. They're both amazing cameras and I actually use the same settings on both cameras and I'm going to explain why. For my fishing, my actual action footage, when I, I normally use a head mount, I mount my GoPro in a head bracket and I'm filming while I'm fishing and just using it as an action camera. I normally use 1080p, which is what we call full high definition or full HD, and I shoot at 60 frames per second. That's the starting point. And I like to use it in linear mode. Linear is like wide angle, but it keeps the sides straight. It keeps the horizon flat. Wide angle gen generally distorts the sides and brings the trees in. It just makes everything a little bit more distorted. So I prefer linear mode, 60 frames a second and 1080p. Although the camera can do much, much more than that. Now, the reason that I like 1080p, sometimes I'll shoot in 2.7K and sometimes I'll shoot in 4K. 4K is the highest resolution or the highest definition that I can film in, but it's also going to create very big files and my computer doesn't like to edit them so much and it also makes the camera itself run very, very hot. And 2.7K, well, that's halfway between 1080p and 4K. So that's just a higher resolution than, two, than 1080p, but it still gets quite hot. Recently up at Lake Buffalo, I was filming at 2.7K. It was 35 degrees. I was standing in full sunlight, and after quite a while, my camera shut down, and it came up with a warning that said too hot. I ended up holding it in the water because it's waterproof, and that cooled it down enough, and I was able to film again. But I reduced it to 1080p, and then I didn't have the problem again. Now 2.7K, my computer will edit that, but it's harder, it's a bit more, it's a bit more labor intensive and it jumps frames that I'm trying to edit. And I've got quite a powerful computer. So what I generally do, when I'm filming an intro and I hold my camera out like that and I talk to the camera, quite often I'll film that at 4K. That way if I'm not in the frame, I can crop the video so that I am in the frame a bit more. Or I'll shoot it at 2.7K, one or the other. If I'm doing a candid type setup where I'm just interviewing somebody or filming something in particular and I want it at 4K, I'll shoot it at 4K. But when I'm shooting my action footage, when I'm going to be cutting bits and pieces out and, and putting uh, transitions in between them in post-process and stuff, I like 1080p because it's much easier to work with and it's still quite a high definition. The 60p, which uh, sorry, the 60 frames per second, how it works is that most videos are uh, filmed at 30 frames a second. When we go to the movies and watch a big, a big blockbuster movie at the cinema, most of them are filmed at 24 frames a second. That's what they call cinematic. 24 frames a second allows a slightly slower shutter and gives that little bit of motion blur. So when the camera pans around, it just creates that little bit of a blur between scenes. The, uh, both of these GoPros will film at 24 frames a second. Most people shoot at 30 frames a second because that's a standard mode. I like 60 frames a second because then I can slow it down and have 30 frames a second slow motion. For example, if I film a 10 second scene at 30 frames a second, it's going to be nice and smooth at 30 frames a second. If I slow it down to 50% of the speed, that's only going to run at 15 frames a second and then it's going to be shaky. The slow motion is going to be sort of jolty, jolty, jolty. If I film that same 10 seconds at 60 frames per second and then I slow it down to 30 frames per second, then it's going to be really smooth to watch at slow motion. The, this, the Hero 7 goes up to 240 frames a second at 1080p. So, sometimes you'll see, if you've been watching my videos, you'll see me throwing my yabby nets in the water and I slow it down to that really smooth but super slow motion. That's because I filmed them at 240 frames per second with the GoPro Hero 7. 
but the problem with that, it's the same as the 4K, my computer doesn't like it. So I can put it into 240 frames a second to film that scene, but when that scene's over, I'll put it straight back into 60 frames a second because then the computer can handle it a lot easier when I'm filming, and it's just a better, a better quality. Now something else to bear in mind with slow motion and high frame rates, 60 frames a second, in order to get that, the camera has to open and close the shutter 60 times in one second. Essentially it's taking 60 photos in that one second. To get 120 frames a second it's got to take 120 photos and to get 240 it's got to take 240 photos a second and so on. Now to get those high frame rates you need lots of light so that you can have that fast shutter speed. If I shoot at 30 frames a second it's only got to take 30 photos in a second so the photos themselves can be a bit longer. The, the shutter can be a bit slower to let more light in. So what that means is that if I'm shooting at my standard which is 1080, uh, 1080p 60 frames a second towards sunset when I'm fishing for say Murray Cod and I like to film the surface buffs once the sun sets I have to slow that down to 30 frames a second to let the light in if I leave it at 60 frames per second what will happen is the camera will automatically adjust the light sensitivity make it a lot higher which will give me a grainier video footage just to let the light in so that I can get that 60 frames a second by slowing it down to 30 frames a second it means I can film for that little bit longer into the twilight period at a better quality Eventually as it gets darker the videos start to get grainier and grainier anyway But by shooting at 60 frames a second it just means it gets grainier much sooner And then when it gets to the point where the camera just can't get enough light in Then it starts not getting 60 frames a second and you start getting really poor files and really dark files It'll still take them as fast as it possibly can But it won't get the light in and it'll be too dark which is why I don't have a polarizer filter on my GoPros. A lot of people say to me, you should get a polarizer filter. They say, I'm watching your videos and you're saying, look at this fish, follow the lure, and look at that fish, follow the lure, but we can't see the fish. Why don't you put a polarizer filter on your camera? The, th th the thing is, if I put a polarizer filter on my GoPro, that's going to restrict the light getting in, which means I'm going to have to slow the frame rate down, which means I'm going to have to sacrifice the slow motion. So I've got to weigh up. What do I prefer? Do I prefer slow motion video or do I prefer polarizer? And personally, I prefer the slow motion. I love having the ability to slow it down when a fish jumps out of the water and shakes its head or when a Murray Cod boofs my surface lure and its tail comes out. I love having the ability to slow that right down by shooting at a higher frame rate. So that's why I don't use a polarizer filter. Anyhow folks, I hope this has helped answer some of the questions that I've received in my inboxes recently and on some of my YouTube comments recently. My base settings for both the Hero 7 and the Hero 5, 1080p, which is standard HD, and 60 frames a second, reducing the 30 frames a second when the sun sets just to get more light into the camera. And then I will go at higher 2.7K or 4K and then higher frame rates at 240 frames a second for special occasions like throwing my yabby nets into the water, filming an introduction, etc, etc. I hope this has helped you out. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't got a GoPro, they are a great camera. They're not perfect. Being a smaller camera and a smaller sensor, the quality is not the same as what it is with, say, digital SLR. But I'm filming with a digital SLR, SLR now, sorry, a Canon 80D. And I would hate to have that thing sitting on my forehead while I'm walking up a stream. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. I hope this has helped a few of you out. And I'll see you in the next video.